Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Horizon Reports. My name is Aisha Khan. There has been a great revolution in Kenya since the ban of plastic bags. Well, I decided to go to various markets in Nairobi to get opinions from people. Kenyans are adjusting to life without plastic bags after a strict ban on the carriers went into effect last year in August. The ban marked the third time officials had tried to cut down on the use of the plastic bags in Kenya. The law is in place. The law preceded us. My objective is not to arrest Kenyans. I know that they will comply. But the law is in place. A few months down the line, traders have had to adjust to this strict measure. Some claiming it is the best that could have happened as the nation moves on. I previously I, I didn't buy I didn't use paper bags before I I lived in a country where there were no paper bags I lived in Germany for many years there you don't have plastic paper bags so you carry your own basket Prior to the Kenyan ban, data shows that over 80,000 plastic bags were being handed out in Nairobi every day with over 20 million being used countrywide on a monthly basis with half of them ending up in the environment due to poor disposal. Manzo, manzo kwanza ilikuwa mbaya sana. Ndiyo sasa walikuwa wanaona ni kama wanadhulumiwa. Tukiwaambia wanunue makaratasi, wanaona hiyo sio jukumu yao, hiyo ni jukumu letu. Lakini sasa wameenda tu wakizoea polepole. Eh, tukinunua tunakuwekea. Lakini sasa hii kasi kama anakuja na mfuko yake, tunamwekea ama ananunua. Si ni hivi hapa. Unakuja unanunua ya mbao ama ya kumi na kuwekea sukuma. Lakini wakati likatazwa kidogo kidogo tukaanza kuziwa tukikulikuwa na shida fulani kwa sababu hatuke hatungepata hizo plastic bags kwa urahisi hata hivyo tulingangana tukanunua hizi mifuko hii mfuko tulikuwa tunanunua moja 10 bob lakini siku hizi tunainunua na shilingi 4 alafu nafurahia hata tukifungia customer na hizi anana nafua alafu anakuja nazo so maisha yamekuwa mazuri lakini wakati hizi makaratasi zilikuja unapata kamzigo kama ni kama dania ni ya shilingi 10 ile karatasi ya pesa kidogo ni shilingi mbili ama tatu. sasa unaona hapo tunaadhirika sana tunatumia pesa mingi kununua hizi alafu unafunga kamzigo kwa kadogo kwa pesa kidogo sasa tunaona wakati huo ilikuwa afadhali polythene paper ilikuwa kuna zingine za shilingi moja tu kuna vile unaweza nunua pesa kama unua ya 150 ya 100 ama ya 200 hiyo si nitakuchukua kama customer nikuwekea kwa mfuko yangu lakini ya, ya trend unajua trend ni hasara juu hiyo mfuko ni trend unamenunua ya trend hiyo utabidi utafute mahali kuwekea usipokuwa na kama una, ni 10 pieces of this sometimes zinaenda kama shilingi 200 na uwezi customer wachache utafungia kwa hizo makaratasi lakini unaona ile package ya 9 by 12 9 by ilikuwa 9 by 12 of ilikuwa kama 200 pieces na tunanunua kwa 80 shillings sasa unaona unaweza kaa na hiyo bag hiyo packet for even a week hata wiki moja unaweza kutumia hizo packet hizo makaratasi kama mtu nakuja kununua hii vitu yangu naweka tu kwa nailo ngure 
sasa vile siku hizi nasema mimi ni use hii na mvuko na lose customer imepunguka eh jumutu iko tu na pesa ya kununua chakula sina ya karatasi tofauti iko hivi makaratasi ilikuwa mbei rais saa hizi mifuko ni mbei kali kuna wenye unajua kuna ya silingi mbili tatu kama hiyo ya mbeleni mbeleni tulikuwa tunanunua ya mbili ya tatu saa hizi ile iko chini ni ngapi tano hiyo tano mimi nikinunua si lazima ni use kumi sasa unaona customer hapo tena ana analete shida anaona afadhali tu nichukue mbe yangu na niende hivyo ilikuwa inanisukumia kazi vizuri lakini saa ile mvuko natumia ni ya kufuga tu hata siwezi kuwekea ndani sasa inabidi hata ile customer wende asara kama una kitu ya kuota hiyo matunda ndani maana ile nanunua ni ya gharama iko na gharama na iwezi yekwa vitu ndani na ikifuga imefuga ikitumika dakika kidogo tu hiyo imeisha hivyo iwezi kufanya kazi tena Whether you live in an urban mega city or rural farmland, you surely see plastic bags blowing around any time you leave the house. Small-scale traders were the most hit with the ban majority complaining of lack of better options for their business. Nye imeadhirika, imeadhirika lakini si kwa sana kwa sababu itabidi kuna mtu anaweza kuja hapa nunue nguo, yeye anataka mfuko, unaona? Alafu mfuko wenyewe unatoka 20, unaona? Nguo yenyewe ukilinganisha bei ya nguo hapa anataka mtafutie mfuko yenyewe hapo imeadhirika anataka anataka kununua tuseme viazi nyanya na ana mahali pa kuwekewa ana pesa ya kununua mfuko sasa hii hata mfuko iko na bei kali ana haya na ana mahali ina mbili aende anaacha anaacha bila na yetu tunakumbiliana tunakubali tujipie tunaona usafi usaanza kurudi vizuri ndikiangalia makaratasi pili kwa inachangia uchafu sana. Sasa hii hakuna lakini nazi tunaumia upande wa mali ya kufukia watu. Serikali ku ban hizo plastic bags haija ni affect, haija tu affect kwa sababu hata unaona environment ni safi. Mara nyingi tukata tukifagia kuna takataka nyingi za karatasi. Na hata hivyo hata kununua hii pia ni cheap. It's very difficult to measure the environmental costs of pollution. Uh, we have had paper bags especially the black ones all over our environment whether it's in town in the rural areas uh, it's very difficult to get rid of that uh, so in terms of cost and benefit to the economy it's simple it's simply um, made an environment cleaner um, yes and the people will get alternative alternatives and the, so the really the economy won't suffer much because people will get different uh, will be able to come up with different bags different ways of carrying their produce plastic bag has affected a lot of environment it's an environment danger because you, whenever we put the plants they don't grow and in the other case we have to live with the plastic bags because we need it all the time we need in our working fields we need we need it in every walk of life so what we have to do is the people have to take care of themselves vile mimi pia sina nylon ya kuweka so unawacha wewe pia hauna pesa ya kuchukua hii mfuko sasa ile unawacha mwingine pia narudi hivyo na wacha na nalala fanya pia iko hapa na surura surura na kuja kuuma ile panya inauma mimi hawezi usimuke sio ni hasara eh mboka pia kama nalala hivyo keso imekauka na kuwa nyeusi hakuna mtu anaweza chukua pia sara yangu saa hizi saa hizi sio mzuri juu hakuna biashara wacha tuongee ile ukweli saa hii watu hawana pesa mtu anakuja na kudi saa hii maembe unauzaje mama namwambia mbei ana duty ananiambia basi ninataka mbili si uniweke mali sina anaenda ipo ipo haya sasa mimi kutoka hapo mimi si unaona hapo nimepoteza mmoja ameenda wa pili anakuja mama unaozaji maembe naweza hivi nikatie moja sina kitu ya kushika hiyo maembe haya mwenye anataka tatu namwambia nunua mfuko ya teni bobu pale 
mimi na ananunua hiyo mwenye anataka tatu jua kuna penye nitamsaidia naye sasa unaona hapo biashara imeenda hivi hivi sio straight kabisa lakini upande mwingine ilitusaidia juu ya uchafu uchafu si unajua mtu alikuwa anakula hiyo maembe anaweka kwa dust mbini mimi nikiweka kwa dust mbini zina tupo hata hapa kwa mtaro inakuamisha hapo lakini saa hii saa nyingine ilinisaidia upande hiyo ya kuweka usafi kama hii inahitaji shilingi kumi. Lakini si wote wanafikia hiyo bei. Inanibidi pia niwape kama bure kama ule mtu ametokea ana na unaona sitaki kuachwa na hiyo biashara inabidi tu nimpe eh, bure tu. Hiyo sitapata hasara ndio si umenunua na kama customer na na kusafi. Eh, hapo tu kwa hiyo biashara ndio nitatoa kitu yangu. Maisha ilikuwa mzuri wakati huo juu. Hizo pepa za zipo na bikali. Tulikuwa tunawekea customer. Lakini saa hii hata saa hii ndio mzuri. Hata unaona environment ni safi. Mara nyingi tulikuwa tukifagia kuna takataka nyingi za karatasi. Na hata hivyo hata kununua hii pia ni cheap. Customer anakuja na mfuko yake, tunamwekea ama ananunua. Sina hizi hapa. Kenya's National Environmental Management Authority, NEMA, has also received praise from the traders saying it was time for the country to move forward. Hivyo hivyo kulikuwa na msako, kulikuwa na msako. Eh, kulikuwa na msako, kulikuwa tunaona watu wanema wanapita. Wengine wanakamatwa nyo wanapata na makaratasi hivyo hivyo. Unajua mtu hawezi akakwambia mimi nafanya kwa nema. Anakuja anakuuliza habari yako mamu mzuri, nataka maembe nichongee. Hai? Sina karatasi. Hapana. Ni unichokee maembe mimi naenda niko na haraka. Hai? Na sindwa huyu mtu hapana mimi sina karatasi. So huwa wanatutembelea kinjia hiyo. Uwezi jua ni nani wala ni nani jua kuna penye wameandikwa nena. Walikuwa wanaangalia wale wako nazo kama uko nazo wanakunyang'anya mpaka dakika samisi ikafika nikishika watu si tukaachana nazo kabisa. Nikiona hiyo mambo ya kushika hizo pesa wanaitisa tuwezi na uwezi kubali kuishi jera. Afadhali tumire jia wanataka sasa upate ile yako kidogo tu ipike na Hata hivyo watu wagopi nema hata sisi tunafurahia kwa sababu hakuna uchafu ule ulikuwa According to environmental experts plastic bags take more than 100 years to decompose thereby posing adverse effects to the environment including blocking drainages polluting rivers and destroying marine life Kenya joined 15 other African countries that have either adopted or proposed such bans including Rwanda the pioneer of the continent. Eh, ilifanya, ilifanya mzuri. Juu ya unajua tu njua rasi mzuri. Lakini hii mifuko kama ingekuwa mbei rais, serikali ikileta iwe mbei rais, inaweza kuwa mzuri. Serikali imefanya jambo zuri kabisa. Ukilinganisha hapo nini hao wali wakati wa nini karatasi kama zijabaniwa kulikuwa na uchafu. Nina wana imefanya jambo nzuri kabisa. Sahi muji ni mzuri kabisa, ni, ni msafi hivyo hivyo. Hasara hii, hasara diyo migi lakini tunafumbiria tuti unaeda ukipata hile hako kidogo mpaka tuzoe hizi. Enye ilifanya mzuri kwa za kubani mahali kwa sea tunivira hiku tuletea viva vigine siya kutumia zile ya zina garama sana. E, Mana mpaka customer analia juu. Yeye yeye tano acha mali juu nimefugia na hii karatasi na anabeba mali nyingi unakosa mali ya kumwekea na sema ana pesa na acha hizo juu. Saa gani na kuja kama uko na kasa maikono na niwe mali nyingi na niwe kidogo tu sasa. Yeah, that was a good move. Right. Na tuendelee hivyo hivyo. To keep the environment clean. Hata tu kujua wa kiban papers at least zitakuja. Tuko na shida tuenda tutafanya nini? Kisa unaona at least kuna solution na karatasi tuliachana nayo kabisa tume iga hii mtindo mpya mm. <laughs> tunaenda njia mzuri kama inji hakuna watu wanataka kukaa kwa inji chafu eh. globally 
Rwanda was one of the first countries to ban plastic bags in 2004 when it prohibited shops from using them as packaging material and introduced tax breaks to encourage manufacturers to recycle. Mimi upandi yangu ninasema okay muache tuendelee na hii mpaka watu wasoe lakini watuletee mifuko kama ni hisi kitu ya mbele hisi ni mwananchi kama ni mwananchi ule wa chini anaweza fanya nini kwa afford kununua juu biashara za hii imeenda chini ukiambia mtu anunue ya 10 pop anaona ai hapo hapana anawacha kasi ana na wewe umenunua uwezi kumwekea bure hizo mifuko sikuwe mingi kila mtu awe na uwezo ya kununua hata kama ni shilingi mbili ama shilingi moja as you can see plastic bags are a significant environmental concern as a species we need to carefully examine the challenges they present and implement strategies that are likely to reduce the amount of environmental damage they cause reporting for horizon tv i am aisha khan